Today I'm going to review with you the steps to set up your Fiery account. A Fiery account is a new tool from Fiery that allows you to gain access to various Fiery applications and services. It is also a requirement to have a Fiery account when you're downloading the latest version of Command Workstation 7.0. So these are the steps to get you started. So the first step in this process is to start the upgrade for Command Workstation 7 through Fiery Software Manager. So once we hit upgrade, you're going to be prompted to create a Fiery account if you don't already have one. So once you click create an account, we're going to fill in this information, including an email address that should be for the company you're setting this account up for, which we'll be using this later to attach it to a company. Next, we're going to click the continue button and you'll receive an email to verify your identity. So once the email is received, we'll type the code that we received in our email and we'll click the continue button. And at that point there, it'll tell us that we're verified. And then we'll close the Fiery Software Manager uh, prompt. And at this point here, we'll let the upgrade process start. Once Command Workstation 7 is installed, the next step is to access our account profile to set up our company information. To do that, we're going to come down here to the left-hand side of the screen and click on the account profile icon. Once the Fiery account profile window opens, we'll scroll down to the company information section. And from here, we'll click manage my account. Then from the account settings section, we'll click create a company account. And finally, we'll click the get started button. Next, we'll enter your company information, including the company name, the address, the country, the zip, and the state or provenance. So then once we're done with that, we'll hit continue. And now you'll see that your account settings have been updated with the company information. And since you created the company, you are also the administrator of the company information. So the next step is to attach all of the Fiery's in our shop to the Fiery account we just created, which will provide us access to all the tools inside of Fiery IQ. So to onboard the Fiery's, we'll come down to the left-hand side of the screen and click on the Fiery IQ Cloud Services icon. And once the Fiery IQ Cloud Services Manager opens, we'll click Get Started. So here you can see we found one Fiery on our network and we want to connect it to Fiery IQ. So to do that, we'll select the Fiery, then click the Next button. And from here, we're going to have multiple options, including backing up our workplace settings, which means we can back up our imposition templates, job presets, those types of things into the cloud and share them with other Fiery's. And we can also back up our activation codes for Impose, Compose, Job Master in the event we lose them and we need to reinstall them someplace else. The best practice is to back up your workspace and to back up your license codes. So once they're both selected, we'll hit the next button and the IQ will finalize the setup. So here we're still preparing the server and updating it. And this may require a reboot. So we'll reboot the server. And once the server is rebooted, it'll come back online and you can now see we're connected to the cloud. Now that the Fiery is connected to the cloud, we can view the Fiery using the Fiery IQ dashboard. So with the Fiery IQ dashboard open, there is our Fiery, along with some of the other tools that are available to us in Fiery IQ, which we'll learn about in upcoming Fiery Friday sessions.